Hi guys, thank you for coming back to my channel. I wanted to do a donut recipe with you guys because I've had a lot of good reviews on my Power XL air fryer and I wanted to just share another recipe with you. If you guys missed my first one, it is my kind of unboxing of my air fryer and then my recipe with pork chops and how we, we really enjoyed them. But today I want to do the donuts. So I think a lot of people know that you can make donuts with your regular biscuits and today we're going to experiment and do it in our air fryer so we're going to get started but before we do that i think um i wanted to kind of share with you guys that i want to start doing some recipes with our air fryer and our instant pot so maybe on fridays or some Fridays or every other Friday, we would put out a recipe for you guys and it would either be the instant pot or the air fryer or my instant pot that's back there. And then as for this recipe, I'll leave in the description down below and you guys can try it out yourself too. So we're gonna get started. You're gonna help? Yep. Gage is gonna help. Um, so he's gonna go ahead and he's gonna melt our butter and then I'm gonna find another bowl and I'm gonna mix the cinnamon and the sugar together and get started with that. And then I will show you how everything else goes. And we're just gonna be making the traditional um, like sugar donuts. Yeah. So we're not making anything like special or anything like that, just the traditional donuts. So what we're gonna do, the, the butter and the sugar is gonna be used for after we get done. So what you need to do first is in your air fryer, you're just gonna spray out the inside just because you don't want anything sticking. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then when I set the air fryer, I'll come back and I'll show you guys what we're gonna set that back at. So we're gonna get started with the donut part. You just, you, oh. yikes. And you're gonna put them on parchment paper and a pan. And then you're gonna use any kind of bottle cap that you can find. Um, and I don't think it matters on like the size that you use, but we just wanna be able to make a hole in our donut. Okay, so I'm gonna bring you guys out a little bit further so you guys can kinda of see what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna push that right down in there and then you can just pull it right out and then you just kind of form your your donut and then I think you could probably save these little pieces and then go ahead and just make some mini donuts so I'm gonna go ahead here and finish this part up and then we're gonna come back and I will show you the air fryer part okay so I'm gonna bring you guys closer and then I'm gonna show you um, what we what they look like and then what the temperature that you guys need to put in your air fryer so let's i'm going to turn you guys around and then we're going to talk about that these are what the donuts look like and then the little extra ones if you guys want to make some mini donuts we're going to go over here and we are just going to place them right down into the air fryer so gage why don't you go ahead and place them in so he's just gonna put them right in. You don't need to form them or anything, just throw them right in. Okay, so Gage has them all in. He has five in there. So then we have the three extra. We're gonna go ahead and set the air fryer to 350. Okay, and then he's gonna set it for five minutes. Okay. The five minutes are up. Gage is going to flip them for us. And they're pretty hot, right? Mm, if you kept holding them, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now we're gonna put them in for another five minutes and come back. So now this batch is done. Gage is gonna pull them out. So we could actually maybe, hold on cooked them a little bit maybe less on the next side but he is gonna switch the batch and he's gonna put the next batch in and I'm gonna show you guys how to 
coat the rest of them with sugar and butter. So we are going to start. So you just take the donut and put it in your butter mixture and then put it in your cinnamon mixture. And that's it. With the mini donuts, we cooked them for the first, what was it, five minutes, mm -hmm. and then they were finished. So these, you're not gonna wanna put them back in for another five minutes, they were done. So Gage is just gonna finish them up, and then we're still waiting for the other three to be done, and then we're gonna come back and tell you if we like them or not. So we'll be back. So the second batch is done. So we're just gonna come here, ooh, they're hot. They're hot. Okay. okay, so this is what your batch is going to look like. And we're going to try it out and see if we like it. <laughs> mm. Yummy. If you don't want uh, the overall butter taste, then maybe just do it lightly or kind of just brush it lightly because they're pretty, bu pretty buttery, but we could have just maybe put a, we kind of put them in the butter and we could have maybe just lightly um, dusted it with butter and then coated the things, but they're pretty good. They're fully done on the inside. So, a full 10 minutes, five on one side, five on the other one. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to share this video with other people that have an air fryer and want to make extra special treats and stuff, especially with Christmas coming up. There's so many different things to make with your air fryer. Like I said before, I'm going to try to make some on Fridays or every other Friday as much as I can and just kind of come up with some new ones or kind of see what's going on um, through the holiday season with some treats that we can maybe put in the air fryer and use. Okay, other than that guys, I hope you liked our video. I'll see you in the next one.